Welcome to Lit City. I'm your host, Corey Town. But it's only one city in the planet that's made me the man I am today. And it's only right that I get a chance to bring you home with me. Welcome to Lit City, Philadelphia. Yeah! So if there's one thing that my city is known for food-wise, it's the cheese stick. And there's only one place that I go to to get the best one in town. This is Ishkabibbles. How you doing today? Hi, welcome to Ishka Bibbles. My name's Amanda, nice to meet you. Thank you, I'm Corey. All right, so listen, so Ishka Bibbles is my favorite cheese steak spot. I've been coming here this my entire life. It's good to never hear. asked this. What is it about Ishka Bibbles that makes it so special? Every order is made to order. It's all fresh. As you order, it's all made. You mind kind of showing me how, to, how you guys make the magic here? Sure, come on back. All right. First things first, grab a pair of gloves. Safety first. So then you pick a roll. Okay. And then whatever you want to put on topping. I always like my cheese steak with salt, pepper, ketchup. Okay. Uh, a little bit of mayonnaise. Okay. So we put a little bit of mayonnaise. Okay. Would you like chicken or beef? Uh, I'll take beef. Okay. We're going to keep it traditional today. Okay. Um, and it's going to be American cheese? cheese? Uh, provolone, please. Provolone, sure. So we will put it up here. And then my cook takes over. Okay. If you don't mind, I might have to ask if you can make another one of these because I'm going to be joined by a special guest, so I want sure. them to try this out too. Sure, no right. problem. Let's do it. It's only right that I go to a legendary Philly establishment and talk to a, a Philly legend himself. And it just so happens to be my father, uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff. What's up, man? You know, I know people probably thought we, were, we, don't, we don't do that in our, in our household. You brought me here as a kid. Um, what brought you to Ishkabibbles, like, back in the day? Just coming down South Street. You know, this is where we came every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday just to hang out. Um, and you had a spot that you can get something to eat. Um, you know, you, everything is on South Street, from Greek food to pizza to Chinese. Mm. But, you know, Philly cheesesteak, it was a little spot. They, you know, you would come in and get your cheesesteak. They had uh, the gremlin. The gremlin. You definitely put me on to the gremlin. Basically, is a lemonade <laughs> and grape juice. So, and that became well renowned. And then people who would come to Philly, you know, when they wanted to get something to eat, I would just naturally bring them down. Mm. You know, you've seen kind of people growing up, and you're seeing Philly change. You know, what do you see Philly becoming in the future? To be able to look around Philly now and see it being one of the most progressive cities, one of the, the fastest growing. You know, all the way down to the, the, the simple stuff of watching the skyline change. Mm. The tallest building yeah, ain't amazing. the tallest yeah. building anymore. <laughs> you know, yeah. there's spots that you just kind of like, wait, that was straight to hood, and now, <laughs> now that's million dollar condos. You know, but you have a level of pride because this is where you were born and raised, and you watch it progress. Thank you for coming. I appreciate yeah. it, man. You know, I appreciate the steak, steak. We're going to eat these steaks. I wanted something real nostalgic, man. Like, yeah. You know, I, I couldn't come back home and... You know, stuff like that. I was like, yo, I want to, you know, talk to my pop. But I couldn't do that without like something that, like that. that. I, don't, I don't even want to okay. give you a dab. We just going to Yeah, yeah, we just going to break the bread city. And meat and cheese. <laughs> and cheese. And gremlins. <laughs> All right, now one aspect of Philadelphia that's always been underrated is fashion. But it's one story that's changed the way how people look at streetwear in the city. This is P's and Q's. What's going on, fellas? Hey, oh, what's up, Corey? How you been, man? Good to see you, brother. All right, man, so look, we have Rick, we have Saeed right here at P's and Q's. Why is the store called P's and Q's again? So, <laughs> back when type placing was the thing, back when you had to place like the blocks were like the letters and like yeah. you had to put them all together to make words and yeah. all that, the P and the Q will always get confused. So, huh. to mind your P's and Q's will just to be on top of your game to know exactly what you're doing. That's tight. Where do you guys find inspiration and stuff like that for the stuff you make? Uh, a lot of it comes from Philly. We like to base a lot of designs in, like around Philly ideas and Philly locations, and like we try to keep it very Philadelphia. Like we made like a, a recent shirt for like this Jaws concept, and it's Benjamin Franklin <laughs> and Shark. As tight. And yeah. Benjamin Franklin has so much history in Philadelphia, so we really try to keep it Philly. Really try to keep like a lot of things just like very local. All right. So like you said, P's and Q's has everything that the modern man would want. I'd be honored if you guys set me out kind of picked out some things that you think I would need in my everyday life. We have this guy here, classic Oxford, but on the back it has a little pop of color. Okay. 
the 820 candle. Okay. It's a hint of lavender, hint of floral. We have this wallet right here. It's pretty cool. It's compact. It's small, you okay. know, but also it has a cool lever right here when you pull out. Oh, you know? yo! Right yo! You just pull the cards down, and you just pull the lever, and boom. That is fire. <laughs> and after that, you gotta get like maybe like a nice automatic diving watch, and that's what we have. Ooh, and you guys are running it up with me, man. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the reasons why I've always loved these and cues. You guys are for the people, by the people. <laughs> hey, man, listen, whenever you come to Philadelphia, make sure you check out all your P's and Q's. So Philadelphia's always been known as a cultural melting pot, right? Now, we've done our shopping, and I have an opportunity to cook at one of my favorite restaurants. This is El Camino, the Northern Liberties hotspot that's taking Tex-Mex to a whole new level. Let's check it out. I wanted to bring Lit City here to kind of show them what I like to enjoy here. You mind showing me around, kind of show me how to make some of the stuff? Not at all, let's do it. Let's do it. How you doing, sir? Corey, man. Corey Michael, nice to meet you. Nice to meet Corey. you, brother. Chef Michael Thomas. Nice to meet you, brother. Favorite dishes? Uh, the queso. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And I always like you guys barbecue. Our barbecue is made in house, and really? a lot of it's smoked for hours and hours. Our really? brisket goes overnight for 20 hours. Really? The shortbread oh, wow. that you're going to see on your mixer, seven hours at a time. That's really good. Slow and slow, lots of smoke. That's our short rib. That's short a beautiful rib. thing right there, man. And what we do is the oil, and we have our chorizo that we make in house. Our chorizo has got a nice, nice heat level to it all oh, the time. Yeah, trust me, I know. Lots of spices. Keeps everybody sweating throughout the summer. All right, so the oil starts to leak out. Uh, we got a little bit of garlic. Okay. Some smoked onions. Smoked onions. Fresh tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes. Put that down. On the we got the fire going. Now, Chef Michael, what kind of cheese that you just put in there? Chihuahua cheese. Chihuahua cheese. Yes, sir. All right. Very nice melty cheese. So that was like a little fold there. It was like a little omelet fold of the queso sauce. That's dope. Got the nice shots. There's our queso. Oh man, I'm excited. And there's your finished product. Oh man. All right, all right, so what, what should I try first? Where am I going? I go queso fundido we go queso, first. We going queso fundido Absolutely. first. Absolutely. What, uh, what do you think is kind of like the secret it's that El Camino has that makes it so popular. We're very accessible, mm -hmm. and the goal was to make this kind of a easy, cheap, delicious, and like fast-paced, fun, mm -hmm. fun environment all the time. We welcome the people that have been here for a long time, and then everyone that new walks in, new to the neighborhood, we say, hey, welcome. Have some barbecue, enjoy it. <laughs> now, I don't get a chance to come home to Philly often, but when I do, I always make sure I get up with the homies. Now, me and my friends decided to meet up at a spot we always used to come to. It's called the Piazza. Let's check it out. You know they say it's no place like home. We brought you good food, good fashion, and good times with even greater friends. Come alive from the 215. This is Lit City, Philadelphia. Till next time.